Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Donnell. Happy New Year 2024. Today I am going to be doing some basic nail care. You can see I very much need it. I have been biting and picking my nails the past couple months, um, which I haven't done in many years. So we're going to try to break that ugly, dirty habit today. So let's get started. First, I'm just going to take your basic cuticle pusher. I could use the glass one, but I feel like using the metal one just to gently push back initially, especially when I haven't done it in a while. It tends to help. I'm not putting any pressure on the nail plate and I'm trying not to let that curve like scrape any of my natural layers off. So I'm just gently pushing it back. You probably can't even see a whole lot going on. So I try to take pretty good care of my nails, but I had some damage a couple months ago from some gardening incidents and I have since, for whatever reason, picked up that old nasty habit of biting and picking my nails, my cuticles, and anything else I can. I can. You can see I've caused a few bleeding accidents and sores on my fingers. So again, just gently pushing that back. None of these sores hurt. I was waiting to do this until they kind of scabbed over a little bit. So now that they're pushed back, I am just going to take a glass cuticle pusher and just very gently go around those cuticles in circles. I'm not pushing hard. I'm just trying to keep that angle flat and get under there just to get off any of those dry flaky bits that could be attached or lingering. Ignore the band-aided finger. That is from taking my couch cover cushions on and off to wash them and I somehow managed to scrape the skin off my knuckle and it's very sore. So again, very gentle, going in like very small little circles around all of those cuticles. I am right-handed, so as you can see, using my dominant hand, I um, struggle with from time to time. Normally, I would do this with an e-file, but since I already am kind of struggling with damage and sores and stuff, I figured I'm going to start off being a little more gentle. Um, just to repeat, I am not a nail technician. I am not trained. I haven't been to school for this. I am just a nail DIYer. I'm a DIYer all around. I love hobbies. I have lots of them. And nails is just a really big one. I started out with dip powders, got sucked in through those Facebook ads, which I don't even know why they were targeting me because... I never did nails or anything. I rarely even painted my own nails because I was so bad at it. So now I'm just going around with the pointed end, just kind of making sure to get out any of that little extra crusties laying around. Um, but again, so online social media ads got me sucked into a dip powder ad. So um, I ordered some and end of story i went crazy i have a lot of dip powders now and then i decided to get into nail stamping so i got into nail stamping and then i decided to get into builder gels um i've tried poly gel i can't do it i can't get the forms no matter what kind i buy to work for me because my nails are quite flat even when they're not damaged um, so couldn't get poly gel to work. So I gave up on that. Um, but got into builder gel, really love builder gel. I love building out enhancements with paper forms. Um, however, right now they're so short. I am not comfortable doing that because I try to be super careful. I'm sorry, super careful to avoid 
any type of allergies, um, which I really don't want. That would be really sad. So I try to I try to be careful with all of my products on my skin, not just gel, but gel especially. So right now I'm not doing any enhancements or anything. Um, and now I'm into just, I'm still into all of that, but I've also added quite a large just gel polish collection. So yeah, my collection has grown. Maybe I'll do a little, I plan on rearranging my little nail station here. I say little, it's probably not little to some people, but I am going to rearrange it here soon and then maybe I'll show it. It's kind of in disarray. It's in the back of my living room because it's just a big empty open space, so why not? And then I can watch TV and look out my window and stuff. So, um, yeah. So I think I pretty much got everything pretty good. I always have these on my thumbs. These super, super dry, no matter what I do. I've tried clipping them. I've tried biting them off, sanding them off with the e-file, everything. And I just, I can't ever get those hard bits off, no matter what I do. If anybody has any tips or suggestions to get those off, besides using my teeth, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Again, I am by no means an expert. This is, I'm definitely not telling you how to do anything. I'm just showing you what I do. Real life struggles, nail struggles. So if you can relate, like, follow, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. If I'm entertaining you, I know it's awkward. This is the very first video ever that I've ever made. How many more times can I say ever? I guess I just want to really stress that this probably sucks because I'm new. <laughs> so, but I'm always up to try new things. I am, yes, clipping this piece of skin off because it was just dry and flaky and hanging it. I did not cut into any live skin. Just the pieces that are not attached, that are dry. I can't get that one, it's too small, so. I'll probably just use a file to get it off. So, and that's pretty much it. And then I will give it a good old wipe in with some alcohol that I don't have near me. One second. Where's the alcohol bottle? There it is. So I like to keep my alcohol in a little spray bottle. I find it works better than those pumps. Give it a spray. I usually have a nail brush too, so I'll kind of brush off, but this will work. This just gets off any of that extra dust and debris that collects. What are you doing up? And last but not least, we will Add some cuticle oil if I can grab that. Sorry about that. I forgot to bring it to my desk. So this is a, this is my favorite kind. This is my favorite way of using cuticle oil is on a roller ball because um, one, I find you can control how it dispenses, but also I like to carry it around in my pocket when I'm at work and it, they never leak and I can just go around my whole finger like this, get a nice coverage. Um, this particular one is from Dip Nailed It. It's, uh, I don't know what scent it is or if it even has a name. It's one of the, just the original ones they had and it's a very, subtle scent mm, but very nice I really like it um I get migraine and allergy triggers from scents that are overpowering or too strong or too artificial smelling so this one is really nice it doesn't bother me I have a few other favorites as well but this is just the one I happen to grab and just massaging those into my nails so again uh 
just follow along on my journey. Let's see where my nails will go. Um, if you're having some, you know, your own nail struggles, um, join me and we'll see if we can get this fixed. So you can see already they look, they look better. Um, they don't look much different, but they do look better. You can see that, you know, everything's pushed back and kind of cleaned up. I don't have as much dry scabby bits looking around. So, and that's it. That's all I'm going to do for today. Thanks for watching. Oh, also, I have a couple of discount codes for maniology.com and another one for madamglam.com. So be sure to check the description for those as well. Bye.